Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got everything for you right here. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action, I want to invite you to join and you have access to the VIP Club section. And you see all these tools here. Go to these tabs and you'll see everything you need to help you make your picks. Okay, so the Major League Baseball season is well into the second half, and with just under two months to go in the season, the pennant races are really starting to heat up as the division leaders have been slumping and have been coming back to the pack. So let's take a look at some of the games uh, for Tuesday of next week. Um, so let's take a look at some of these games. We're going to take a look at five of them. The first one we want to look at is the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Cleveland Guardians. Arizona comes in burning hot, winners of five out of their last six, as well as Cleveland. Both teams five and one in their last six games. If you look at the over-under, you can see the teams have been trending in games over the line, particularly Arizona. Each of the last six games has been over the line. The score prediction in this contest is 6-5 in favor of Cleveland, and the confidence of the prediction is rather high at 81%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, both teams on the upward trend. Arizona at plus 29, and Cleveland is at plus 25. Head-to-head, um, -head, the two teams have not yet met this season. But we'll take a look at the stability factor. How well are the teams performing? With regard to their favorite underdog status, you can see both teams are performing very consistently in that regard. 21 for Arizona and 13 for Cleveland. <clears throat> both those numbers are the highest of the season for both of the teams. Um, if you take a look here at the home road record, Arizona is 28 and 26 on the road. Cleveland is an astounding 35 and 15 at home. And the scoring differential is um, plus 92 to plus 46 in favor of Cleveland. So in the end, I think this is a Cleveland game at home in a game over the line. The next game we want to look at is... We'll get there, not the Eagles and the Yankees. One more Toronto. A lot of good games. It's a full slate of games. We're taking a look at five of those games. Uh, Milwaukee and Atlanta. So Milwaukee comes in first place in the NL Central. Atlanta, second place in the NL East, five games behind Philadelphia. They are coming on strong, though. Winners of five of the last six games. Well, Milwaukee is three and three over their last six. If you look at the over under, um, mostly over the line, particularly for Milwaukee, five out of the last six. Uh, four out of the last six over the line for Atlanta. The score prediction is 8-2 to two all Milwaukee, but take that with a grain of salt because the confidence in the prediction is rather low at only 34%. On the power ranks, you can see the complete uh, difference in the trends here. A huge increase for Atlanta from plus 4 up to plus 28 just over the last day. Well, Milwaukee went from 28 down to 16. You take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup the teams met uh, in a three-game series just a week ago in Milwaukee with Atlanta winning two out of the three games on the road. Um, we take a look at the uh, over, uh, the score, uh, score, their home road records. You can see Atlanta is 37-26 at home. Milwaukee is 31-26 on the road. Milwaukee has a slight edge in the scoring differential at plus 82 to plus 63. Uh, I like the Braves in this one at home, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. The next game is Houston and Texas. This will be a really good battle in the AL West. Both teams fighting for playoff positioning. Uh, Houston is tied for, with Seattle for first place in the division, while Texas is only five and a half games back. But Texas has struggled lately, one and five over the last six, and coming off two straight blowout losses. In fact, three straight blowout losses. Um, and Houston is averaged down three and three over the last six. If you take a look at the over-under, though, 11 out of the 12, games between the two teams um, have been over the line. Five out of the last six for Houston, all six for Texas. And the score prediction, uh, if this holds true, this would most likely be over the line, although the line has not yet been set. But 7-6 in favor of Houston. But again, the confidence in the prediction is very low, well just under 25%. On the power ranks, Houston has on is on the upward climb at plus 23. And because of the very poor uh, stretch for Texas, they have dropped all the way down from 16 to plus 3. Um, the teams are very close to 500 uh, home and road. Like uh, Texas, five games over 500 at home. Houston is three games under 500 on the road. 
In the volatility oscillator, you can see that the teams have been relatively consistent all year long, although recently not as stable. You see Houston was at plus 14 on July the 11th, and they've only gone up to plus 15 since then. And you can see that uh, Texas was at plus 13. They are now down to plus 12. So in the end, I like this to be a Rangers win in a game over the line. We're going to take a look at Minnesota and the Chicago Cubs. Um, AL Central versus NL Central. Minnesota comes in average down three and three over the last six, while Chicago is ice cold down three and four and two over the last six. Um, you see the over under mostly over the line between the two teams. But the score prediction is for a low scoring game, four to two in favor of Chicago. But again, take this with a grain of salt. The confidence in this prediction is only at 23 percent at the moment. Uh, this, this confidence in the prediction could change as it gets closer and closer to game time. The power ranks indicator shows both teams on the upward trend with Minnesota at plus 19 at the moment and Chicago from plus 8 up to plus 26. Um, the Twins have a, a decided plus 49 plus or minus 3 scoring differential edge and Minnesota is also much more of a stable team. If you look here at the volatility oscillator, plus 23 to plus 2, much more consistent regarding their favorite underdog status. I like this to be a Cubs win, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. And the last game we want to look at for the day is going to be the Philadelphia Phillies and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Go down here to the bottom. Both teams are struggling lately. Uh, Philadelphia just, you know, uh, you know, losers of four out of their last six. The Dodgers have lost three out of their last six. Um, Really, the over-under has been mostly games over the line. Both teams are in first place, but have come back to the pack. Um, if we take a look at the uh, score prediction, it's all Los Angeles 10-2. to 2. Again, though, another one that's low confidence in the prediction, only 37% right now. And the power ranks indicator, both teams near the bottom right now, as expected because of their recent play. Philadelphia plus 5, Los Angeles at plus 7. Uh, and the scoring differential is a very narrow edge for the Phillies at plus 94 to plus 85. If we look at the consistency factor, both teams still very consistent. Now, Philadelphia not as consistent as of late because of their recent uh, bad stretch. Actually, over the last three weeks or so, they were at plus 30 back on July the 13th. Now they're down to plus 25. While the Dodgers have been maintaining a relatively uh, upward climb in the consistency factor here and there are now at plus 22. So I like the Dodgers at home in this one, and I think this is going to be a high-scoring game, so go with over the line. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the five games uh, for Major League Baseball picks. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.